Right now we are at Red Rocks Amphitheater and for eight years I had a contract with the city and county of Denver to sell hemp ice cream sandwiches here for the summer concert series. First and foremost it was about sales and marketing of a dairy-free hemp-based ice cream and, uh, and selling, selling that and giving out samples and telling people they could buy them in the local health food stores in the area. And so what I experienced was uh, people wanted to come up and they just wanted to talk about marijuana. And so that was a really interesting um, thing to experience because people, there was still a lot of fear. You know, this was uh, 2004. The most common question that, uh, that I got was, uh, can I smoke it? Can I smoke an ice cream sandwich? Um, so that cheesy joke got repeated thousands and thousands of times. Um, and so I just kind of laugh about it and I, ha ha ha, no, you won't get high from smoking. You can't smoke an ice cream sandwich. So I do write that freelance column, Ask the Cannabis, for the Cannabis site, the Denver Post online marijuana website. And, and so what I experience, that people are emailing me questions and they want to know, is this true? Uh, what, what are the facts? How do I engage? How do I buy things? Where do I go? They're just looking for resources because there's a lot of information, but they don't really know what's accurate. And so, you know, when I started that, I, I noticed and thought that there's a lot of relevance to what I did here at Red Rocks because people would come up and they would have questions and they would ask me. So I was still, I was answering questions, you know, even then. And so it was uh, interesting that that has carried on, that I'm still uh, at, the, at the forefront of engaging with people that don't necessarily go to pot rallies and, you know, that I'm engaging with the mainstream people that are just attending a, you know, a Kenny Chesney show or a Stevie Nicks show or String Cheese show or Willie Nelson's show and, uh, and just in, in engaging and in, in answering questions and, uh, and talking about a topic that people have a lot of interest in but, um, but have been, you know, fearful in, in really discussing it and so really bringing that sort of out of the closet and being an approachable person that, uh, that they can ask questions.